In this module, we are going to look at Boyle's law. It's perhaps the simplest of all the gas laws, and that's because it says something very obvious. If you compress a gas, it shrinks. Of course, it's all said in a more formal, mathematical way, and a condition under which it holds good is also stipulated. Before we go into its exact mathematical formulation, let's see it in action first. Consider a helium balloon, which is drifting in the air. And as it rises higher and higher in the air, its surrounding pressure is going to reduce. And as a result, it will get bigger and bigger. So lesser the pressure, greater the volume. That's the gist of Boyle's law. Of course, it might be difficult to watch a drifting balloon and notice the change in its volume. So alternatively, we can watch a bubble as it rises in a tank filled with a heavy liquid. This is how it starts, a tiny bubble at the bottom of a tank. Notice what happens as it rises through this heavy liquid. Notice the change in its volume. Let's watch it again. Next, we will think of the condition under which we should study this relationship between pressure of a gas and its volume. Besides pressure, there are two other things that can affect the volume of a gas. First, the quantity of the gas that we start with, or its mass, and second, its temperature. Boyle's law keeps things simple by keeping both these quantities constant. So we say, for a given mass of a gas at a constant temperature. Perhaps now is a good time to study the exact mathematical form of Boyle's law. We will look at the apparatus used for finding it in the next part. But for now, we will just borrow some observations and plot them as a graph. So this is the graph we will plot. Volume versus pressure of a given mass of a gas, maybe this balloon, at a constant temperature. Right now, the volume is 50 units and the pressure, or under the pressure, 10 units. Next, we will change the pressure. Say, double it to 20. As we do so, watch the volume. Did you notice that it halved? Let's do it one more time. So we'll double the pressure once again from 20 to 40 and watch the volume. It halved again. When two quantities vary in this manner, their product or multiplication remains constant. And they are said to be in inverse proportion. Let's see this again. We started with volume 50 units and pressure 10 units. The product is 500. Then it changed to 25 and 20. The product is 500 again. And finally, 12.5 multiplied by 40 is 500. The graph of volume versus pressure looks like this. We can just verify our earlier readings that they lie on that graph. And finally, we will summarize with a formal statement. For a given quantity of gas at a constant temperature, its volume varies inversely with pressure. In mathematical form, pressure of a gas multiplied by its volume is constant for a given quantity of gas at constant temperature. That is Boyle's law. 